large oil rig, for sure one of the hardest monuments to be successful in, and I'm going to be trying to come out on top against the groups, all as a solo. And having a base within swimming distance of oil rig was definitely going to gain the attention of some unwanted guests. So sit back, relax, and enjoy my purest solo experience. Ah, ladies and gentlemen, it is raining. <laughs> I actually have a massive task today, humongous task, and uh, it's gonna go one of two ways. If this is a video, then I succeeded, so that's what you guys need to know. And I'm probably a bit late to the party, I know the sort of oil rig ocean sort of hype died down maybe, but boys and girls, I'm gonna give it a go, this is gonna be epic. But yeah, I'm seriously excited for this one, I seriously am. And if you wanna see more oil rig content, drop a like, drop a sub, that way I can know that this is what you guys enjoy. With such a task at hand, making effectively a base on stilts out in the ocean, I would need a starter base and a lot of farm, opting to live on an island in the north region of the map, so that's where I travelled. I have a feeling this video is going to be packed with just grubs, like me grubbing, I mean, I'm just seriously going to be a big time grub. <laughs> Give me that. Oh no, poor guy. Bro, who logs? Wait, what? <laughs> Oh no, he just crafted a spear. I could have done with that 300 wood. Oh well. Oh, look at this. It is rich with food. That's what I'm talking about. Awesome. Okay, we'll label this as home for now. We can actually get a TC, which is sweet. Um, all right, let's do this. I had my starter base down, a safe place to depot the farm I would need in order to begin the construction of this ocean base. Don't run, brother. Yes, boy. Come on, boy. <laughs> yes. It would become quite clear to me that I wouldn't be alone on this desolate island. But for now, I tried to stay in my own lane. Yeah, I'm just going to expand like right away, to be honest. I don't want to be... I don't want to get caught with my pants down. There we go. Let's turn this around as well, act as a little airlock. That is a bear over here, perfect. If we can get this, get some metal going. This is going to be golden. <laughs> this bear's getting played. Alright, let's place this down. There we go. I don't actually know how much stone it's going to cost me. Because it's very deep, like in the ocean, by where I want to build. So I'm already going to be up like 12 stories maybe. So I'm planning to go as close to large as I can, like maybe here. I don't really know the radius. I'd, I'd imagine it's probably somewhere around here, right? So... I think I'll go over with like a row of wood and the rest stone uh, when it comes to it and just sort of see how far I get. 
Hello, neighbor. You are right below me. You are hit once. And twice. And a headshot. <laughs> Tarkov servers are down. Okay. My next mission was to secure a boat to farm the ocean, as this is a much safer way of farming scrap as a solo. And plus, I would need one anyways when it came to moving into the ocean. Um... Don't swim away. Oh my. Dude, really? Oh, come on, bro. I hate players like this, man. I hate players like this. Where do you even... He has, he has everything I would need as well. He has a diving set. Oh, well, I'll leave him. Oh, may as well farm this while I'm looking. Oh, I do see a couple across the water here. I'm gonna go for it. I don't I don't care if I die. If I die, then who cares? There's two. They don't need both of them. There's two of them. They're on boat watch, man. Okay, they're leaving. One one started swimming, the other one went into the land. I'm going for it. Okay, we out. <laughs> this is kinda huge. Oh, they're trying it for sure. They're lucky man. Unfortunate death, but they left me my boat, so I was happy. They didn't take the boat, I guess. That's fine. I'll start farming the ocean. And with a metal door down, I was pretty confident leaving on the boat without worrying about an eco raid. And with that tier 1 workbench down, you know I had to craft myself a crossbow and a nail gun. I can't be asked to make a large box, I'm just going <laughs> to live with this for a bit. And we're going to get a metal double door just so we're that bit safer. I saw my neighbour come back to his base on a boat, so I tried to catch him out. Oh my gosh! Need to be quick. He's going to have juice, he's going to have juice. Dude, I thought he was going to have juice. The waters must have been looted already. No, I feel bad a little bit now. I'll take the boat though. I then continued to farm as, like I said, laying down the foundations to this ocean base was going to be expensive. There's two of them. This could be my neighbours, actually. Can't hit them either. There we go. I think this could be my neighbours. Oh. Oh, Just gonna leave. Oh no, there's loads of them. There's actually a lot. Oh, <laughs> just leave, whatever. Was he not dead? No. 
<laughs> oh my god, there's so many of them. The island had way more inhabitants than I had anticipated, which was not great. So it was back to the waters. I'm pretty sure I had enough materials at this point. I just needed the diving tank and the flippers to begin construction. And unfortunately, I was unsuccessful, so I was either going to buy them from the nearest fishing village or kill someone for them when the time came. Sick. That's just sick. Dead. Oh, he is. The hell is that loot? What is that loot? Really just farmed up enough scrap to buy a diving set. So that is awesome. And I finally had the tank and the flippers in my possession, so I wasted no time in heading to my desired build location. Okay, I feel like I'm in the general area of where I want to do it. This is going to be so... I don't even know if I have enough materials, man. But let's just do it. Let's go for it. Let's just go for it. I think I'll do like a vendor machine down here. Something like this. I need to move the boat. I actually have enough. I have enough. Uh, I have enough wood. I don't know if I have enough stone. We'll see. Do it like that. Yo. Um, up here, I don't know what I want to do. I don't really want. I think I'll put TC in this one here, right? But then I don't want it on the first floor because the entrance will be here. I think I'll like wall in this triangle. Have this as the roof up. Yeah, I think I kind of know what I'm doing actually. I, I need I need a minute to think though, to be honest. This was far from the norm, hence my hesitation to continue with the base. This was something I had never done before, so I wanted this to be as perfect as possible. I'm so close to having enough, but I don't have enough. So we, yeah, we'll get to this for now. This can be okay. This can be a start point. At least we have it here. Um, yes, it will decay, and I will sort that out. But for now, I really need to go get a bit more stone. It's not even wood that I need, actually. It's stone. I need a the stone. Oh, wait, what? I missed a whole box. Oh my goodness, I'm so bricked. Hold up. With this stone acquired, I could now finish the first floor of my base. However, this structure had already caught the attention of a couple of players. Let's go. Let's go. There we go. Just like that. Just like that, we are living on the ocean. Let's get to work doing the bottom bit here. Here we go. So. I can't demolish it. Oh, they don't have a tool. Oh! I swear my brain just doesn't my brain don't my brain doesn't work. Hold up.
Both dead? No. I'm not a fan of this. Is that him over there? No, it can't be, not that fast. I hope he just dipped. What was his HP? 44. Uh oh. Wait, that, oh, he had a saw the whole time. I can do this, so this is easy. No, it's not. Because I'm bricked. Go. Okay. Oh. I don't care about the idea I once had. Pretty sure everything is upgraded, but that wall frame, and I think he knows it as well. I'm gonna bleed, yep. Oh no, and I'm gonna bleed out. I need this TC, man. Please. I don't have a lock. It's crafting. Oh my god, I'm not, I've not bled out. I think I need to demolish that and place the wall. Let's go. Let's go, man. Oh my goodness. One HP in a dream. Let's, let's go. I may have secured my water base, but it wasn't exactly how I had it planned. Because of this altercation, of course I was panicked and didn't want all of this work to go to waste. Hence, prioritizing my base over looting the player I killed and the initial design I had in my head. I had the idea of leaving the middle triangle in my core open with a ladder hatch in its place, allowing the first floor beneath sea level to act as a mini vault, but like I said, I was quite rushed. Nonetheless, this base is definitely one of my favourite designs to date. Yeah, I'm taking a big juicy run. Beautiful. Okay. Ah. Should be okay. Yeah. So I think we'll have TC in here. Yeah, and we'll have jump up here again. Okay. We'll do that. I don't know how many stories I can go up before stability gets a bit of an issue, but we'll soon see. And I know there's probably a million better ways to make an ocean base, but this is my first time. I've barely watched any ocean base videos, like, cut me some slack, okay? I'm learning. I mean, hey, if this video does well, then I'll do another one. And I'll actually do some research into what sort of bases uh, work better, you know? So yeah, there's actually a body bag over here, I'm gonna go check that out. Yeah good thing as well actually about living there like in between rig is that cargo won't hit it because cargo always goes around rig so I'm actually like I think I'm safe and with the final transfer run from my starter base I was officially situated within swimming distance of a large oil rig I'm gonna door that because I don't want people going under and uh, soft siding into my base I sort of messed up but what can you do right I was under severe pressure okay, let's get another door down here for no reason it just What? Where did that go? What? I need to have a wall frame here. Well, I just wasted 200, uh, 200 metal. Thank you for watching and goodbye. What? Nah, I'm actually kind of mad. Wow. Okay, here goes nothing. My first attempt at um, going large. It's been down for a while. And I've got myself probably one of the most overpowered items for countering rig. Because if you didn't know, this is pretty much silent. 
It is um, it's very, very, very overpowered. Heading over to Large on my boogie board, I embarked on my first of many oil rig counters. <laughs> what an idiot. What a baboon. Oh no. He has a spear gun, I'm done for. Dude, if that guy was actually good at a game, he would have killed me. I'm not... Oh, no. I'm seeing cargo. Uh-oh. No, no, no. I thought I was going to be safe. Maybe I'm very far from the truth. Oh. Am I okay? Oh, please. I think I'm okay. Oh. 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 I just got two stacks of ammo, by the way. Damn, bro, like, misses all shots or something. Well, first time going rig and we've already made profits. Big profits as well. After that successful large run, it would be rude for me not to go straight back. Let's go for it. gangster. This is one of the most common ways to counter a large oil rig and you'll probably see it a lot from me in this video. The good and the bad. Oh here's a boat. If I can just get a kit and leave that's sort of what I'm aiming to do in the early stages of the wipe. Just get a kit and dip. I wonder how many there is. Put in the heavies. Uh, uh, epic fail, I guess. What? The good and the bad. <laughs> like I said in the intro, this is the purest and most realistic solo experience you'll see. I have a lot of hours in this game, but that is on land and barely any out at sea. So if you want to see how difficult large oil rig really is, you've come to the right place. And because of how difficult it is, it makes the plays that much sweeter. guy that killed me died, I guess. DBs, that's something that I'm not going to be passing up on. There's someone on her. Oh, oh. I then. <laughs> yeah. I think that's everything. In the end, big profits again. Two DBs, a python. Extra diving set. Actually, no. Yeah, yeah, extra diving set. Okay, I figure that it is probably time to go for a little farming run. I'm going to silence that. I could go back to where I started. There's nodes seem to be pretty decent over there. Psych! No boat meant I couldn't go on my farm run, so that meant one thing, it was time to go back to oil rig. No! Oh my god, I'm so... Oh. Wait, that means this gun's gonna be down here, right? Oh no, it's gonna be impossible to find. Yeah, it could literally be anywhere. Thing is, every time I go rig, like I'm profiting. Like, look at this: hundred ammo, what six meds, revies, crossbows, all the good stuff.
No. Oh, he actually just got me. Like what? It sucks. You serious? <laughs> From here, things went downhill for a little while. I went on a massive farm run just to die as I was about to leave. I even went back and just in case I died again, I placed a stash so I could take the boat back home, which clearly proved to be quite useful. And when I got back home, Things just got worse. Oh my, like... Look at that! <laughs> I'm just gonna take my boat. I, I, there's nothing I can do. There's nothing I can do. This is just so, this is so, like, just bad. I, I... Hello, man. Hello. Wait. Okay. Sick. Should I just greet? I'm not. There's nothing I can do. This is GG. I might just greet myself. That's crazy. As you probably saw, I was going to place down a shop front, but that would in turn grief me as well as the raiders, so I passed on the idea. If you guys know me, I don't give up easily at all, especially after all the work I've had to do to set the base up initially. The raiders did place a door back down, meaning I would have to raid my way back in, but that was the easy part. All I had to do was set up a small forward operating base on the coast and get to work. But as you can tell, the last two minutes of footage was realistically two to three hours of playing, so as you can imagine, I was quite drained, so I took a small break, and when I got back, it was time to grind. I made my way out of outpost equipped with a tier 1 workbench, crossbow and a revolver, placing down a humble 1x1 near the coast. But of course this is rust and things never come without a challenge. But for now, I was doing just fine, farming up for this small raid I had planned. Okay. This'll do. <laughs> I did an airlock to prevent me being deeped on and to prevent a potential raid attempt and thank god I did. And just as I was getting ready to raid back the ocean base, something happened. Why is there multiple people outside my base right now? <sighs> Don't. Oh my, you can't be serious. Understandably, I was quite annoyed. After a couple of hours preparing for this raid, I could lose all the progress I had made in seconds. I needed to win this raid defense. Oh man, this is insane.
Well, I have a target on my head. Yet again. Why? <laughs> to be fair, it was a very easy defense. I waited for the area to cool down and then finally headed to the raid. This will reach, yeah, this will be fine. Just hope it doesn't blow the boat up. Huge, huge, huge. Yo, I was not expecting them to have guns and stuff in here. I thought they would have just left everything. Okay, let's go. We got our crib back. No way. Oh, dude, I'm so happy. I'm so happy right now. And just like that, we reclaimed our ocean base. All we had to do now was transfer the loot and then we could resume our oil rig adventures. Hey, we made it. 7 HP, let's go. Oh, feels good, man. This feels good. <laughs> I got a big smile on my face. I farmed the ocean for a minute and did a big recycle run at Fishing Village. I could then finally place down my tier 2 workbench. Tier 2 means one thing. <laughs> and that thing is garage door. Let's use this new one. Yo, that's pretty clean. Let's get them going. Again, I, I messed up last time. Oh, I messed up. Sorry, I messed up when I made the base. And I thought, well, because I was so pressured to make the base, I was going to have vending machines here and a ladder hatch going down. Um, but obviously that couldn't happen. So I'll just block that off. It just prevents anyone from being able to soft side. I intended to expand my base further upwards later on into the wipe. So I wanted my TC on the middle floor as the door path to raid would be more expensive than if I had my TC on the ground floor. Luckily, I had a spare satchel. Thank you. There we go, perfect. And with that, I did some base organization and then I headed back out into the waters. What the? Okay. No, don't tell me they're getting separate boats. Oh man. I hate this gun so much. I mean, I guess I could just swim away now. I have a diving tank. Unfortunately, another unsuccessful counter, but I still came out with heaps of loot. I then headed straight back when it respawned. Yep. 
He's he's clearing the vents heavy plate. Oh my, who does that? Who does that? Who does that? Where do I have incense? I'll be back, just gotta take my profits. But considering they know that I'm there, I'm gonna be going with a DB this time. Because I killed one of them, they're gonna be on high alert, so. Oh. <laughs> well, <laughs> I got L9. Hey, um. <laughs> Boom. Easy AK. I was stacking up a decent amount of loot and wanted some more space in general, so I expanded upwards. What if I... Oh, no way. I'm actually upset now. Stability is so awkward. I can't place a roof. How? Like what? Oh, I'm so upset that I can't go one floor higher. I had such a good idea as well. Okay. Window floor. Boom, boom, boom. Actually, let's leave that open. Add some boxes for some extra angles. Let's move this door to here. I'm so disappointed that you can't place another layer. I'm actually so sad about that. Because ideally, I would have had this as like a like the core loot room, and then this is the shooting floor. But things have had to be readjusted. Not to worry though. Oh no. Additional 40. Oh, that's fine. I didn't even know that was a thing. Here, yeah, we're going to spray paint it blue. Uh, yes. Yeah. I wonder what this would look like from outside. Probably pretty goofy. The base. <laughs> that actually looked really nice if I'm able to get it. Ooh, ooh, the uh, container metal. I did a quick recycle run, mainly so I could get some tech trash to make electrical components. As we all know, there is no trees in the ocean, so smelting ore is quite the chore. So I needed to set up an electrical furnace circuit. Hey, what do I want? I want a battery. And I also want a solar panel. Where I'm gonna place the battery? I actually do not know. I need a root combiner.
Hoping I can get a large box here. Oh, I actually can. Huge. Okay. Now I just need to place my bed up here, I guess. There we go. There we go. Okay. Make a few more garage doors, actually. Okay. Actually, like, kind of secure. Kinda. Oh, let's go. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Take that. I was getting so much from oil rig and not even from getting many kills. Honestly, if you're looking for a chill wipe, just main rigs and you'll soon start stacking up the loot. And whilst rig's down, you can still farm it for some nice components. This was me. I'm actually seeing a few. There's a body bag over there, and there's also one like behind me on the other side of Rick. So I'm gonna check these out. Ooh. Probably had a gun, right? Oh, I will never find this gun. Yeah, whatever. I swear I saw one over here. Maybe not. Must have despawned. We finally have enough gears to make a vendor machine. Happy days. Vending machine. Where do I place it? That is of course the question. I was holding on to quite a lot of diesel and other bits and pieces that wouldn't have a use to me, so setting up a shop was the next best thing. However, this would also announce to the server that there is an ocean base right next to large rig. Yeah, yeah. Pretty nice. Right, hopefully tech tree into ladder isn't ridiculous. Oh, easy. Okay. Perfect. Okay, there we go. It costs so much, man. It's so expensive to live in the ocean. Right. Okie dokie, what sort of things do I want to sell? Obviously the diesel. Um, hmm. I could sell slugs, I'm not going to be using them. I could definitely, definitely sell crude oil. 100%. Explosive MLRS rocket, I guess. Yeah, I guess that's okay for now. I don't know why MLRS goes for, like, <laughs> uh, 600, yeah, there you go, perfect, two full metals, 
Bro, they're just taking it on a mini again, like... Wait, are they not together? No, they're actually not. And the scientists have gone at the bottom. Hold up. I'm not going to risk my full kit over this. Or my card. I didn't think anyone was on it. I'm going to... Yeah, Thompson. No, I'm going to get the MP5. Yeah. Oh, please be a different team. Yes. Scrap heli, what has happened here, man? What? What the? Okay, I know there's a mini, but I don't want to be a target, to be honest. I'm just going to leave with this. Yet again, I had a negative KD on that oil run, but still came back with the crate loot and more. Rig really is a cheat code. Yo, I've got a purchase. Right, so I need one of them, one of them. And... A, yeah, that's it. Just need to wait for them to craft. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Someone bought all the diesel. Hey! There we go. Right, let's have these cameras. I <laughs> like to see my base. That's actually kind of cool. <laughs> oh. Just. May as well do that. There you go. I went back to rig whilst it was down to get the loot I had left earlier. And after I depoted it, it came back up. Just depoting her. Oh, shit. He actually hit me. Oh no. Um, that would be my base. Are you... R uh, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm... Wait, am I done for? It's a sub. What is going on? Where's my base gone? What the f my base is gone. I don't have a gun in here. Oh, no. 
What happened? What has happened? No. I, I got, did I get MLR rest? Where's my bit? <laughs> I know what happened. The foundation. What? Wow, what a way to go out after hours spent on this mini ocean base project. I did end up having a nice conversation with the raiders to be fair. No. Oh shit, man. You room raided me. <laughs> oh man, I'm sorry. GG, GG. We oh, just good. saw your shop on the map, man, and you were so loaded. We're sorry, man. It's okay, it's okay. We thought you were online though, man. It's uh, no, I was, I was on rig. <laughs> I was on rig. I heard 2C4, oh, I was like, rig, oh man. no. And then I had no bed. Yeah, it, it, yeah, it is what it is. GG. Yeah, there came so many counters, man. I know, I saw, there I saw. There was a mini who just flew into the water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with full heavy and shit. I don't know what happened. Do, do you want the vendor machine loot? Do you want the stuff? <laughs> I mean, yeah, we do, man, but... But, but I'm, I'm kind of sad now, man. <laughs> don't be. I, I'm, I'm sad, bro. I have a rock. I'm gonna come out. Please, don't, <laughs> please don't kill me. I'll leave the door open. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. Damn. What did you two see for? Was it the foundation? Uh, we know we fought. We fought. Yeah, we fought. She fought your foundation. Oh, okay, I see. Like most of the base is pretty much. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. GGs. It's pretty, pretty risky base design. I know, man. I know. I know. It was fun. It was fun. Yeah, it's it's nice. I love it. And yeah, it looks like you've had some successful oil runs with that. Uh, mix. kinda. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. You, you might have you you might have been the, the, like the most loaded solo I've seen, man. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know about that, bro. I don't, a lot of it. A lot of it was just I'm grub. Kidding. A lot of it was grubs. Grubby, grubby loot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the part of the game, you know. Exactly. We ended up having a nice conversation, and that was that. I reclaimed my ocean base once, there was no way I had the mental capacity to do it again. Regardless, I really hope you all enjoyed, and as always, thanks to the channel members for their further support, it really means a lot to me. I'll see you all next week for another Solo Rust adventure.